This is Twit. Um, I mentioned a web server from the Dark Ages. The security firm Recorded Future found that a Chinese advanced persistent threat actor had leveraged a vulnerability in an IoT device to gain access to an electrical grid operator in India. And in a report last week, Microsoft said that they had identified the entry point for the attack. It was a tiny, somewhat obscure web server known as BOA. Uh, it's www.boa.org. And actually, I was surprised that it, there was a three-letter .org. Those are rare. Uh, and it's only due to the fact that it's been around for a long time. Uh, BOA, which is said to be widely used across the IoT and ICS, that's industrial control system space. Um, okay, as we all know, it can be very handy to have a nice, simple, and tight little web server. Uh, you know, so tiny that it could even be considered a component. Although BOA is written for Unix-like operating systems, it doesn't use the traditional Unix fork and spawn approach of creating multiple instances of itself to handle individual incoming connections. Uh, I didn't study BOA long enough to determine whether it's multi-threaded, thus spawning a new thread for each request. It might be purely serializing. Since the Unix Berkeley Sockets TCP IP stack supports a queue of waiting connections, BOA might simply accept one connection after another using a single thread of execution. That would indeed make it quite lean. And apparently, BOA is also quite fast. Of course, you get that until you overload it uh, by a, an HTTP server that is so simple. Okay, all of that is okay. But here's the problem. It's, it's not that BOA was first written and released 27 years ago in 1995. That's fine. The problem is that the last attention its source code received was 17 years ago, back in February of 2005. In looking through BOA's development history, I noticed is this with the some website. Yes, my friend. That, <laughs> it looks very, that, that makes mine look modern. It's very not last updated February 2005. Uh-huh. And it's you know, I couldn't pull it up because it's not HTTPS. I had to just Oh no. No. Nor no. is the web server, Leo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So if if you click on news, uh that that first link there. <laughs> Click on and then if you scroll down to the uh, the 2002 developers conference. Oh yeah, the big BOA I, developers conference. Who could forget? Well, that? yeah. In fact, I have a picture of the developer conference what, attendees what a party in, in the show notes. <laughs> uh, I noted with some interest. Then on, on it was just two of them on October 4th and 5th <laughs> of 2002. The BOA Developers <laughs> Conference was held. The official minutes of the event noted, quote, Larry and one of his sons <laughs> stayed at John's house October 4th and 5th, 2002. While the reasons were unrelated to BOA development, and in fact, Larry and John spent only a few hours discussing BOA, computers, and the free world, it seemed appropriate to refer to the event as a developers conference. <laughs> well, here is a picture. It's the team. <laughs> here is, yeah, the, the entire team in one location. Here is a picture of Larry and John at John's house. <laughs> Left to right, John, Larry. Now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this, this web server is in... The is is in an IoT device which is being used by the grid operators of what was it that I said Israel India no. India uh, oh. India right uh, 
So, you know. Well, the price was no, right, I guess. Oh, it certainly was. <laughs> I have no doubt that these two have their hearts in the right place if they're still beating. If they're around, uh, yeah. But a, but a web server they wrote 27 years ago wow. and last tweaked 17 years ago, which has no support for secure connections, is currently in use. And apparently widely so, because it's apparently wow. very popular. Among other places, the operation of an electrical grid operator in India. Lord only knows where else this boa constrictor might be lurking. <laughs> there are a lot. I mean, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, mini specialty web servers. That's a simple thing. Yeah, it takes about an languages. afternoon. Yeah, it takes an afternoon simple. to write one yeah. these days. Yeah. Um, but wow. Um, why yeah. they chose this so, one is a baffling. An, well, it's tiny, right? Yeah. So it's like, well, we're going to put it in ROM. Who got the smallest server? Oh, look, Boa. Oh, and uh, you, you didn't sh pick a, bring up their logo page on that site, Leo. Le 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 it's pretty good. Uh, th these are if you want to put a logo on your homepage when you've used the Boa constrictor server in order to uh, uh, serve your pages. You can pick from any of these. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put this on my website just for fun. <laughs> Powered uh, by Boa, the high perform. When you feel the need for speed. I like the one with the colored scales. That's oh, not, yeah. That, that, yeah. That's good. That's, that's nice. Yeah. That looked good on my site. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Anyway, unfortunately, IoT devices on the net are powered by Boa. <sighs> And that we there was oh. Microsoft didn't specify the way in, but China found a way in, and it's not surprising. I did a search on their on their errata page for null, and I found lots of null pointer problems in the past. Oh, yeah. So presumably not all of them. But Yikes. good news, it's Y two K compliant. Yes, yes. <laughs> Your concerns from twenty two years ago about Y2K have been addressed. Larry and John did it by phone. They did. They decided not to have a developer's <clears throat> conference for that because, uh, and there actually is, they go on at some length on their explanation page about Y2K. <laughs> and while the underlying OS may have a problem with it, at least their code doesn't. Yeah. So rest uh, assured, yeah. if your clock <clears throat> is set wrong, you'll be okay. They, I noticed they copied their, uh, their, uh, Y2K statement from the Apache project. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess uh, they were no aware of that other little web server no out there. No, yeah, no need <clears throat> to reinvent the wheel. There. No, that's right. Unfortunately, that they didn't copy their their uh, TLS support from yeah. Apache, yeah. so wow. they don't have any. Wow. Wow. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So. Check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today.